let's get straight to the point. Many people ask me what this thing is on the right side of my cameras. So I decided to make a video to show you what it is and how I use it. This is a camera grip hand strap that I got from Amazon and this is one of the cheapest ones. I will first tell you the reasons why I'm using it and then I will show you how I attach it to my cameras because I kind of installed it differently from the instructions. The first reason why I got this is to have a more secure grip when I'm handling my camera. If you have a light setup, you might not need this, but my setup is pretty heavy with a camera cage, top handle, and sometimes even an external monitor. So this hand strap definitely helps. I feel much more comfortable and safer using my camera with this strap because it makes the camera harder to accidentally slip out of my hand. I don't know about other people, but I would never want to drop my cameras. It also feels much better when handling with the hand strap because now I can relax my hand holding on to the heavy setup. A lot of the weight can now be distributed to my arm instead of my grip. I would say to me it feels like my camera is now half of its weight because of the weight distribution. Trust me, when you have to hold on to the camera for a couple of hours, that weight difference, at least the feeling of the weight difference, will be very important. I can even relax my hand, not completely, don't just let go of your grip, please don't, when I'm just carrying the camera around. Again, your muscles will thank you for getting the hand strap. Another very important reason why I'm using this hand strap is because now it is harder to get the camera stolen from my hand when I'm filming outside. Without the strap, I feel like someone can just come up and snatch my camera easily because I'm only relying on how strong my grip is. Now it is much safer. Also, if someone sees the hand strap, they kind of know it is going to be more difficult to take the camera out of your hand, so they might just not do it, which is even better. Oh, there's one more reason. It makes the camera look cooler and more professional, just like those cinema cameras, for example, the C70. They usually have built-in hand strap. This is just my super low budget version, but it works, so I don't mind at all. The hand strap is made out of very generic camera strap kind of material and some paddings. It feels very sturdy, but of course you can still cut it if you have something sharp against it. You might notice that I don't have the wrist strap attached to it. That is because I'm always attaching my camera to different things like tripods and gimbals. So I don't want something dangling around. If I'm only doing handheld for a long period of time, I can put that wrist strap back on for extra support and security. But I'll still not trust the strength of that little plastic wrist strap to carry all the weight of my heavy setup. So maybe don't trust it for your cameras too. When I first got the hand strap, it came with a quarter 20 plate thing that you can attach to the tripod mount at the bottom of your camera. I'm not using it because it feels kind of clunky and I didn't want to have it between my camera and the Manfrotto tripod plate. What I did was to remove the base plate of the hand strap and attach it directly to the side of my camera cage. If you don't have a camera cage, most likely you will need to use the base plate of the hand strap. Now I'll show you how I attach it to my setup. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how I attached this hand strap onto my camera cage. This is a GH5 with a small rig camera cage. And I'm going to undo it so you guys can see how it looks like before. Okay, so this is the camera hand strap. Sorry that if it's out of focus because I'm on manual focus right now. It looks something like this with the strap little hook thing at the top and you have the long strap at the bottom. So what you need to do is make sure that you have a camera cage that has these two spots first. You have a camera strap mount at the bottom and also a camera strap mount at the top. If you don't have the uh, bottom one or the top one, usually what I would do is to hook it to one of these mounting points on the cage 
So either on the side or at the top. What I need to do is, as I said before, have the camera strap hook thingy at the top and make sure you have the entire strap untangled or untied, whatever that is, and leave it just like this. The first thing you can do is to slide it into the camera strap hold at the bottom from the bottom. So I'm just gonna slide it like this, just like this. And the next part is a little bit trickier. What you need to do is to slide it inside the little padding thing underneath the remainder of the strap, just like this, just slide it in all the way until you see the end coming out of the top. So you just need to slowly slide it in. It'll take some time. It's actually really difficult to do it in front of the camera like this, but I'm gonna try it. Just keep on sliding, keep on sliding. You just need to be a little bit more patient. And you might need to use the other end of the strap to pull and grab the strap like this. So as you can see, it's coming out of the padding at the top. So now you have the strap, end of the strap, and also the hook thingy. I don't know what this is called, to be honest with you. And you have it attached at the bottom of your camera cage like this. So now the bottom is secured. What we need to do is to figure out how to strap it to the top camera strap mounting point of your cage. If you don't have this, again, hook it up to another mounting point of your camera cage, it's, it's fine. What I usually do with this cage is to slide this end through the camera strap mounting point. Make sure this padding is facing this way. So when you slide your hand in, it's like this. So first, slide it in. And you will probably need to try it uh, multiple times just to come up with a more comfortable kind of length. All you need to do is to slide this through this hole right here, the top one. This is not secured yet, so try not to just slide through like this. Your camera will just fall on the ground if you try to grab your camera like this with this kind of um, threading. Now you just need to slide it in to this part of the hook like this. So as you can see, it's now mounted onto your camera, but this is not yet secure. I'll show you how to kind of make it more secure so it's not going to slide off because this is still not that strong. But what I want you to do right now is to measure it or to try it to see if this length is comfortable for your hand to slide in and hold on to your camera. Make sure this is not too loose because if it's too loose, then you're kind of losing the purpose of having this hand strap. But don't do it too tight too because it's going to hurt your hand. So this is a little bit loose for me right now. So I'm just going to tighten it, make it a little bit tighter. It should be easy to slide in, but a little bit harder to slide out. That's probably the right length. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit tighter. Okay. I don't mind using two hands to slide my hand in at the beginning because it's fine. I can just do it and then let go and I'll be able to carry the camera with just one hand. As I said before, you have to try multiple times to find the comfortable grip. So now I've found the comfortable length. What I need to do is, this is the little plastic hook thingy, right? And this is the end of the strap. What you want to do is to slide it into the top, like here. I know it's kind of hard to see on the camera, but this is gonna work. You just need to kind of stuff it in there and slide it in like this. And now you will have this extra secure hook or loop that you can tighten it 
and it should be really secure unless you break that strap with like whatever strength. <laughs> but this is way more secure than before. If you think this thing is like dangling and annoying, what I do is I'll just slide it back into the padding. And now you have this really clean and secured hand grip that you can use to hold on to your camera. It helps a lot. It helps especially distributing the weight of your camera from your hand grip to your arm because this is now kind of strapped to your hand and this is more secure and it is harder or even maybe impossible to kind of just steal the camera away from your hand if you have this. And if you're holding on to the camera, you can now relax with this head grip. This is how you mount it onto your camera. If you have no camera cage, you might need to get the base plate back and attach it to your tripod mount. So this is how you do it if you have a camera cage. That's it. That is the camera grip hand strap that is always attached to my cameras. I can't really imagine not having it on my cameras anymore because it is just so useful. I hope you will find it useful for your setup too. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.